thing recording. Hey, pause. What the f? Focus. Who said that? Who said that? Zoom in. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Listen up. What up? My name is Taxi Ero. She's in the building. We are the Jazz Kidding Podcast and we are live from the hearts of Kiambu. We, we are back at Waititu Land and we are back with amazing Mumbi, man. Hi. She pulled up Amenewa, man. Yes, I did. <laughs> I did. <laughs> I thought you were going to get a clean shave when you said you were going to cut your hair. I thought so too. I thought Lupita. Like, we'll say, I'm going to cut your hair. Lupita. I thought so too, but then Kafka po and then I decided why not. But if you may, I'll go back and shave all of it again. Like when I got the men doing do so that you can go shave all of it. Eh, uh, so I want to enjoy this cut because now by the time your language met and then I do this style. Uh, so I'll give it time. I'll have to turn you at now. Then I dye it. Um, so I, I'm holding because Mumbi is uh, aside you being a poet, yeah, a shilling. Kenyan shilling, yes. I'm aware, I'm aware, I'm aware. <laughs> <laughs> so, I'm aware. Yeah, I'm aware. Yeah, yes. Mm. <laughs> Just trying to be sure. So, aside the movie being a poet, uh-huh. an amazing poet, mm-hmm. in that case. So, I'm holding a dissertation that you just did because you're also a law student. Yes, I am. Um, yes, about to finish. Ish, Thank you very much. Congrats. Ish. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I'm holding a dissertation which is. Um, uh, which you, which I think we have, is gonna form majority of what we're gonna discuss, mm-hmm. and it's about commercial sex work in Kenya. Yes. You know the. Then, uh, what is the dissertation? No, 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 no. I'm going to do dissertation. Because I'm very amelora. Go like what dissertation? What dissertation? So a dissertation for you to get through the four years of law school before you graduate, you have to write a ten thousand word paper on any area of law on any legal topic. From 10, any thousand words. Yes, so young women figure fourteen thousand. So like I'm just you're, you're that like, person. Like basically overachieving. As in yes. Mumbi is literally <laughs> those students when you're calling. Hey, teacher, we don't party assignment. As but, the child uh, I have a feeling because I've met Mumbi a few more times before this, and I'm like, I think Mumbi is those students who are never in class, but they always pass. Yeah. So you were with her at the club the previous day before the exam. Yeah. And then we're gonna D, you're gonna put a. I have a feeling she's one of those. Can you miss us? Say it's part of D. So what I'm saying, <laughs> you forget, you know. <laughs> <laughs> All I'm saying is that Rosh is surprised because you said ten thousand words. Mm-hmm. I'm sure lyrics are combined in a few thousand words. Like in school, come at least a blank. Anyway, so to the people who are bit serious on school, you really want us to go there? No, okay. we are talking about you in school, not me. Missy Kwapo. But anyway, so Mumbi, mm-hmm. I found something wow. interesting that I'm gonna quote. <laughs> <laughs> that you're gonna quote. But before we get into that, mm-hmm. I have a present for you guys. Oh! No, I couldn't come to the podcast empty handed. Wow. So, uh, no one has ever given us a gift on really, the show. It was actually inspired by Agosh. He's the one who made me want to. So, since I'm Kukujak Tianguya KICC, which is okay, I was displaying these lessons and I want to give you guys one. Because one for both of us. And then so much. And then sharing it. Like, 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 <laughs> yeah. What does it say? Ah, come on. <laughs> hey, <laughs> let me see. <laughs> I, I, I what does it say? Like this Wait, let me line. see. Yo. If men are trash, I'd say you're the recycl- <laughs> recyclable kind. Yeah, so Irish yeah. came to our show. I was performing at once. Yeah. And then he had me say this line. Mm. And I, I couldn't help my eyes. And he was so excited. So I was displaying these lessons at KCC. That's beautiful. Uh, so I saw uh, since uh, Nakuja Apa, uh, actually, uh, it's both you. of yours. Thank you. So, uh, you I'm the one who's holding it. So I'll, I'll be the custodian so of we'll, this amazing... We'll split half. Me, I'll take the bottom half. Yo, let me check this out. Check this out of here. I'm the... We see, recyclable. I don't know if you pronounce it. Recyclable kind. Recyclable. What's the extra L? Recyclable kind. This is a whole new business right here. Thank you, Mumbi. No one has ever given us anything on this. Oh, you know, it's yeah. okay. It's okay. Okay. Anyway, Sindhu, who put your number to everyone in our But anyway, so Mumbi, your mm-hmm. dissertation is about uh, sex commercial work in Kenya. Yes. Or prostitution, for lack of a better word. You know? Yes. Like, uh, so before I quote something mm-hmm. that, um, from your dissertation, mm-hmm. I mean, why? Because you said you're supposed to do a dissertation on anything mm-hmm. regarding law. Yeah. Why sex commercial? Why commercial sex work? Because one, you're supposed to write 10,000 words on any topic. That's a lot of words. 
you have to find something that you're passionate about. And at the time, I was... I feel like... 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 What? I feel like just saying a stupid thing. Can I say a stupid thing before you continue? Mm, mm. I thought you'd say you, you chose commercial sex work <laughs> and then you said passionate because people should be paid for the things they are passionate about. That's what I... I mean, yeah, if I you're good that. at something, yeah. why do it for Bro, free? I mean, if you, if you can... If you can <laughs> and then I also thought ling-a, ling-a, that... Ling. Because I feel like men do most of the work. Mm. They are the ones who should be getting paid. Yes. We, we're gonna get back to that. We're gonna Thank get back before, to that. Yeah, <laughs> we're gonna get back to that. <laughs> <laughs> Oof! Ah. I'm, I'm dropping gems. What's up to give a mess up before, man? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Move back to you. Yeah. So yeah, so commercial sex work was something I felt like touched a lot on human rights. Mm-hmm. Um, for example, like the right to privacy, freedom from discrimination. Privacy because streets are fucking dogs on it, Um, you know, like um, the law. There's this thing called the separability thesis and legal positivism, and it says that like basically the law should not form part of private morality. Wait, 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 Mm-hmm. Okay, me next play me a minute. Where? Okay. Boss. <laughs> <laughs> Let me explain, but see, the legal positivism. Yes. Legal yeah. positivism is a legal theory that I've used to justify why commercial sex work should be dis- decriminalized in Kenya. Legal positivism is basically a theory, a legal theory that says you have law and you have morality. There's yes. no law in morality and there's no morality in law, mm. basically. And in Kenya, the two... They marry. They, yeah. marry. they need to be separated. Basically. Yeah, they need to be separated yeah. because um, the reason commercial sex work is shunned in Kenya is on moral grounds. Exactly. You don't think about it from the... In Kenya, honestly, when you mention morality in anything Kenya, this discussion always changes. Yeah. Either you're talking about religion, either you're talking about even ethics in the workspace. As soon as any morals comes in, and it's the same, same thing Mombi is saying, like we need to separate the two. In Kenya, we have so many bills that cannot be passed just because of moral grounds, even if they completely do not make sense or do not apply in present times. But uh, just just before we begin talking about serious stuff, mm-hmm. you guys were mentioning something while you're driving here that caught my attention, that we have three different types of sex commercial works. Yes. Or I'm at a, at a, can, I, can I use the word prostitution in this podcast? Yeah. Like, yeah. Because you two are comfortable with sex commercial work. Commercial no, sex work. Commercial, commercial sex work. <laughs> it's, it's, it's commercial, commercial sex work. Sour, can I use prostitution? Actually, just so that commercial sex work. It's sex work that's it's commercial. Yeah. But it's commercial. It's a transaction. That is not commercial. That is not commercial. Yeah. If you're married to your wife, you don't pay for. But then that is not work. But JJ, oh, you do. You do. <laughs> you do. Which is which is another discussion right. on transactional that sex. Very but anyway. About. So now, tell me. You're telling me this. Three different, oh, the, types the three different types of prostitution that we have in Kenya. Yeah, so for that, we have to start with the background yes. of prostitution. Basically, prostitution in the Kenyan context. So prostitution is the oldest profession in the world. It's been called that for a very long time. Can you imagine? It's the longest. Like after before, say Ojue, we can actually have people called teachers or pastors. But you know, I would, I would, uh, you know, I would, uh, you know, I would be I surprised think, to know. I in, think at Tony Surayako. Ah, they know how it looks like. But you know, oh the, my God. the thing is, yeah. the you'd be surprised to know in Africa we didn't have that. In in most communities we didn't have prostitution because African cultures had devised ways of making sure everybody sexually satisfied and nobody needed to you know, buy sex. Buy sex. That is a gem I also just dropped. Pum, 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 pum. <laughs> so enter colonialist. So anyway, so in Kenya, the earliest documented um, prostitution that started in Kenya was during colonization. Basically when Bam! colonialists people, came colonialism. to Nairobi, yeah. when Nairobi was founded in 1899. Yeah. 
is basically when um, white people settled in Nairobi. Okay. White men, obviously, the engineers who are engineering the railway from Lake Victoria to from Uganda to Lake Victoria. From? I think the from railway from Kisumu. Kisumu. That's Lake Victoria. Basically. Yeah, there's the railway yeah. being constructed, yeah. and then they had a stopover in. That Nairobi. was like, like 1905 or early 80s. But Nairobi was founded in 1899. But the railway was built around 1905. Like early 1900s and late 80s. Yeah. Yeah. So when they settled there, um, it's been documented that the earliest black settlers in Nairobi yeah. were prostitutes. Person. Okay. What? Yeah. What? The, it's documented that the earliest settlers of Nairobi were prostitutes. Yeah. Like when, yes. Wow. So wow. basically, we are complaining. So when you see a lot of prostit- prostitutes in Nairobi, bro, they deserve more share of Nairobi than we do. Yeah, <laughs> they literally <laughs> discovered Nairobi is what we be saying. And the, the background of prostitution, you can say that a locust attack, a famine, and colonization is what sparked prostitution. Because at that time, there was a famine and like locust attack in Central and the Eastern like regions of Kenya. They are loving their day day for lack of their day among the shoppers because they are not stress. Is of it only do you come to it? Look at Nazia, Nazi hand on the dish. Imagine it is a Makama and a Macho. It is because Napatio says stress. Bala protein. What did they? Yeah, so when there was that farming, it meant that since they couldn't farm, yeah. and also since the white people had taken land from people and making people pay taxes, farming wasn't that lucrative. And then there's a farming, meaning now people had to look for. Other, ways of, other ways of making money and that's why now women started moving to Nairobi mm. in order to satisfy the sexual appetite of the white people who are in As Nairobi in, at the apart time. Apart from the white people taking our lands, killing our people, mm. they, also introduced, they still they contributed in the... Yeah, in, like this, they, they still had appetite to have sex, like literally fuck our girls. Yeah, so... Rape some. And also, it's it's because I added added a bit of your. Uh, of and your, now we are speaking their language. Speaking. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, a, it's a crazy. We we have been done a good one. No, I was reading yours and. I, and no, no, wait, Paul. Yeah. Mm-hmm. We were supposed to oh, let history, guys know okay. that there's. She was giving us the history. Oh. Then we break down the three so that when we are talking about oh, it, yeah, we know exactly yeah. what we're talking about. Because Pole, Pole, I didn't know there's three forms of. Yeah. Oh yes, 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 yeah. Yeah. So, so it's this information. It's actually from a book. It's called uh, Colonize, uh, Prostitution in Colonial Nairobi. Okay. Yeah. What happened? There were three forms of prostitution of prostitutes. Yeah. There was wazi wazi. There was watembezi. Wazi wazi is Swahili for open open. <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> Which is literally what they did. So there are women yeah. who'd like sit outside their houses exposing their bodies and shouting their prices. Prices. Yes. Can you imagine being in that neighborhood and they're the most expensive? Because <laughs> <Oof. laughs> <laughs> they're shouting their prices. No, I'm just thinking. Like literally it's the a most bit traumatizing. Pre- like your pussy is the most premium in that in that neighborhood. So you have like Fine. premium prices as well. <laughs> like it's, don't you find it a bit it, it's a bit uh, shocking. Like me, I can't even imagine it. No. no. You know? Like I'm walking and then a lady just shouts a price and then I look and then uh, and then I'm then scared. <laughs> then look, you know the way the way you go to buy stuff and then you'd ask for how much is the price of that shoe. So they tell you the price of so like I for the quality I'm at the type of that shoe I think it's it's expensive. Can you imagine applying that on the mummies? So mummy shouts a price you like oh mm, not really. Hmm. I feel you should start charging lower. <laughs> Bad joke, huh? <laughs> Terrible joke. So then, after Wazi Wazi, it's Watembezi. You know, Watembezi are like the ones we know today. The ones, yeah, the who... ones we meet on the streets randomly. Yeah, yeah, the ones who Walk solicit. Walk around in some short, dra- short dresses and They stars. look really nice, but they, you know, me sometimes. They look good. They look, uh, they are very but it's because they're, they're black, bro. All black girls yeah, are beautiful. Yeah, that's, that's very true. Sure. Like, so... Now, Walanguzi. <laughs> so there's Watembezi. What? Walanguzi. So Mumbi. <laughs> <laughs> so what I'm busy yeah. were found on River Road. Okay. Basically. Today they are found on Koinange Street. Today they're part of they're found everywhere. Yeah, everywhere. Yeah. In the corners. 
Yeah. The dark corners. I just remembered anyway. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yes. Uh-huh. Wait, so now what everyone assumes as prostitute is mm-hmm. what is what we call what? Watembezi. Wa watembezi. Yes. Gotcha. Yes, yes. Now and, the, and the ones in Hurlingham for like those are watembezi massage too. massage the happy ending. You know I'm going to do that one. Oh yeah. So those are called <laughs> I'm on, Jesus, Then the last the one is Malaya. Malaya. So yes. Malayas are the ones in Hurlingham. They massage the happy endings. Yeah, Malaya now are indoors. So yes, now either yeah. they come inside your house yeah. or you go to their house. Do you know what you should do? They have an online service like a Exactly. Like if you are, imagine, delivery. can you imagine if you got like an Uber for the Malayas? Like literally, if you come to this place we are, you can mm-hmm. log on to your Uber and check the nearest Malaya next to you. That would be nice. What would some of the what the app be called? The app would be called No. <laughs> <laughs> It's called Tinder. <laughs> Uh, But yeah. Tinder, 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 Tinder. By the time we, we finish the podcast, I'll have an, an our, a name for the app. So, uh, mm-hmm. yeah, Jose could give us a good name. Give Jose a name. So, uh, so we have. Yeah. So now we have Wazi Wazi, Malaya, yeah. and Watembezi. Walanguzi is not one of them. Walanguzi. Walanguzi only in a cartoon. So now, <laughs> can I put something here then? We yes, begin? yes, yes. Ah, yeah. So on your abstract, mm-hmm. I'm gonna read like two sentences. Yes. You say. On the other hand, not all persons who engage in prostitution were coerced into the trade. They choose it as a, as their preferred source of income. Mm-hmm. Commercial sex work is a victimless crime. Mm-hmm. Women's bodies should not be policed based on a moral standard. Yes. So you want us to unpack that? Let's unpack that. <laughs> Hey, oh, oh, I'm a I'm a the the lawyers were speaking during the media shutdown. Oh, yeah. summer, and then they're like, okay. That was that was good. That was that was that was dope. I like how you read it. Thank you. Yeah. You you like everything I do. Not really. Not really. Is that what you think? Not really. Yeah. Let's Okay. <laughs> so you can unpack the first sentence you've read is yeah. one that says that um so the sentence before that actually mm-hmm. was talking about how criminalizing sex work is basically um it's like putting a bandage of a crack on the wall instead of dealing with the underlying issues yeah. that lead people mm-hmm. into prostitution like poverty um domestic abuse because if you read there's a report by FIDA that was done that I actually referenced there that was it interviewed a number of uh, sex workers mm-hmm. and most of them were either married off young um experienced some sort of domestic violence had children early and then like their husbands or men in their lives decided to pimp them out make money from mm-hmm. their bodies and you know that's how they ended up in the trade as a way to sustain themselves so you're saying if everybody had at least some good money for themselves we wouldn't have prostitutes because there's some who are in the trade because this it's the only alternative they have okay. to sustain themselves but Between, on the other hand which is the sentence now you've read yeah. some people willingly get Do into it. the trade because yeah. can you imagine someone who cannot go for a full day man, man is just having like man is seeing like five different dates different colors sizes what are you saying all i'm saying <laughs> no, we, we we stopped talking Deep about this talk. talking, talking about dicks like three months ago <laughs> oh, oh it's been a while so but no I, more dick talk but, but m- m- mine is you said your, your line says uh commercial sex work is a victimless crime. yes it's a victimless crime we can also not ignore the the what is it called uh people who are you know sexual trafficking pimping mm-hmm. violence against sex workers yeah. how 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 now in a in a decriminalized sexual i mean in a decriminalized sexual sex environment. working environment yes. how do you now you know work around things like that so um there's actually a chapter i talk about that the importance of separating commercial sex work and sex trafficking because you see now we the law decriminalizes commercial sex work thinking they are also doing something to help um sex trafficking to curb sex trafficking yeah. but that's not the case because commercial sex work is people who willingly want 
to engage in sex work for money for money sex yeah. trafficking is people who have been coerced into the trade you can't put them under the same umbrella and decriminalize sex work and think you've dealt with both issues in the pre-colonial era when the white man when the Nairobi thing was happening mm -hmm. do you think the white man paid for sex I think they did because if the book that talks about um, prostitution in colonial Nairobi, it even talks about how the women at that time made money that allowed them to own property. Oh shit! Yeah. So some of these old buildings in Nairobi could have been built. In from... in Majengo, some of the houses are actually called Kambi Amalaya. But how much? How much? Let me. How much money? Do you make as a sex commercial worker to actually own a building? Like I can help not, you. Like like not like not from not from other avenues. Let's just do the math. from the actual act of getting fat for money. How much money do you make to Let's ask build Google. a building? Okay, but you can continue. I'll be, I'll be researching. <laughs> I, 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 you continue. I'll research on how much. But money. you also need to know the money they're probably making now isn't the same money they were probably just making. Kitambo. Yeah. Like, the value for money Kitambo was high. Was, yeah. Like you could make more with little money anyway. as compared to now. Speaking yeah. based on sources, I can't I can't tell you. Mm. I have a I, ha I know that. Uh -huh. I have I have very I'm well informed that a sex worker. Uh, a sophisticated one. Okay. Could make between 3000. Sophisticated one you mean like a a like a, a you, like you'll be in a clean environment. Like yeah. you as a you'll be a John, right? Yeah. You're a person soliciting for sex, paying for sex. Yeah. You you will not do it in a dingy cave somewhere. Yeah, yeah, you'll sure. do it in a nice room. Mm. Blah blah blah. So other than what you pay for the room, mm. you will pay f between three thousand five hundred to five k for the services. Mm. Just you. And the yeah. session is unless you're like Hulk Hogan, you won't go more than three hours. Get it. Yeah. And, and and a sex worker, if she's very good at her job, might go, might do three clients in a day if she's really good. Really? And the, and the, that's really? The, they they do a lot. Depends. And, the, and those yeah. are just, no, that's the, uh, that's the main package. Okay. Other, other, there are smaller packages like a hard job, yeah. a blow job mm -hmm. here and there, ah. a massage there. So, what you're saying there. is you could easily make clean cheese a night. A, a, Easy. a day. You know, you see, I feel like sex work, you, don't, you know, you assume it just happens at, at night. night. But, but most working channel. most working people, yeah. uh, somebody told me, which is a very strange thing, I, I'd never thought about it, that most hotels in Nairobi are booked during lunch hour. Ah, that you, you break your lunch. You break your lunch. No, I don't know what I'm saying. But that's what I'm implying. Yeah. So yeah, between a good day, a, a, a professional sex worker might make between 15 to 30 Gs a day. And that's important that you've mentioned that about like high end prostitution and the idea that we think it only happens at night mm -hmm. because you have to understand that pro um, sex work doesn't come in one shape or yeah. form. Think of like um, if I'm just here and I have a sponsor somewhere, would you would you that. would you bracket me in the same in no. the yes. same? You see, we are in an environment think... of. People, how do you identify as somebody had to say I am a prostitute for me to go and say prostitute? I would but never say No, but you see, at the end of the day, it's the same thing we're doing. Whether I'm walking on a street in the middle of the night, stopping cars that are driving by, um, soliciting myself, or if I'm just dating an older man, having sex with him and he's for money. just so you're you're for money. money. So you're saying that's one a sex of worker. them. Yes. I think both of them are, because but one of them is criminal, the other one is not. And why is it? Because it's because in Kenya it's a crime to be poor. If you're doing the exact same thing, mm -hmm. but I'm doing it somewhere dingy on a street yeah, somewhere, that's... I'm it's a crime. Yeah. But if I'm just a high end whatever, Wait, they are they are actually that is very right because those high end we call them experts. But they yeah. are sex. No, no, they're doing the same thing. But you see, the are, also the people who do escorting work. They don't have sex with their clients. They just true. Go There's that, but now I'm just talking, about, talking about the ones about who, who do. do who yeah. Yeah. Because you them. need to realize that the life factor here is money. But you like see, everyone has okay. Not based everyone. On, based on you see, you because guys, I read a bit of your report. You you said what is criminal is uh, using proceeds from sex work. Like it's illegal. To use the money you get, yeah, to live off the earnings, to live off the yeah. earnings of sex work, mm -hmm. and so, it's also illegal. So you're supposed to make money for men. The money, donate the money. So wait, which is I'm a bigger stating, issue? So yeah, uh, and also it's also illegal for you to mm -hmm. pay for it. Like you cannot pay if you pay for it, mm -hmm. 
then if you give money for sex as a man yeah. actually can so I, I, I have ask, I have yeah. the section of yeah. the penal code can I read for you the section really? that actually criminalizes so, it as you, as you get the section you have it yes ready. I have the section so, but me ni collect if I get a mummy I want to have sex with her and she decides to charge her I'm comfortable to pay for it should I yenu how to allow you, you will be committing a crime which crime and she will commit no, a crime but, and she uses the money but the men if you found a prostitute and a man who's going to be arrested I thought it's both of you. Can let me read the sections yeah, that okay. criminalize it. So it starts from section 153 of the Penal Code. Fun fact, the Penal Code was written or came into force in 1948. So, so 1948. It's, so it's an adopted law. The same law yeah, but the with we yeah, it's a law we got from the British but think yeah, about it 1948. 1948. Since then laws have changed in Kenya. Yeah. This particular sections have remained the same since 1948 Why? because the Christian would let no, you back to the point she said we need yeah. to separate some of these issues especially anything morality moral in 1948 high term we should separate them in 1948 the standard of morality is different from the standard of morality we have now in 2019 and you're saying in the year 3000 morality will be will be activity. completely different you know the morality they'll take it from the dictionary <laughs> but you know you can't ignore, <laughs> but we cannot ignore the social <laughs> aspect of you know yeah. like I, i i don't know how i feel about the whole uh, you know legalizing you know I'm, i'm down for legalizing marijuana i don't think i'm so down for so legalizing not legalizing mm. decriminalizing What is the difference? Which we'll get into. Just read the penal code before I start yeah. annoying you people with my old school conservative. So, idealistic. we love such ideas. So section 153 criminalizes male, male persons living on the earnings of prostitution or soliciting. So one, it's a crime for a male person to solicit themselves and to live on the earnings of their prostitution. Also it criminalizes uh, basically pimping where a male person is proved to be living or habitually in the company of a prostitute that's Do you know something that should have illegal. been corrected first is the assumption that sex commercial workers or prostitutes are only females because it looks like the male are the ones who are paying for the service and also it's the men who are just pimping just I know ladies who are pimps in Nairobi in 2019 you know ladies were pimps. yes and you've never introduced Th- let me say one lady i'll introduce you i know a lady who's a pimp also that aside there's dudes who are sex commercial workers it's not just females who are out here selling pussy there's dudes selling dick they do and that's why for some yeah. reason the penal code found it necessary to criminalize money. men soliciting themselves okay. but nowhere does it criminalize women from soliciting themselves Exactly. So according so to this it's not a crime to no pay. soliciting like walking on Koenange streets yeah. like selling themselves yeah. it's, it's a, crime. a crime for a man to, to do buy. so but according to no to sell themselves yeah like wait like, what is soliciting this is, this is what i'm saying no, so it's like soliciting like and then they soliciting for yeah so bro point is especially it's like um if i dressed up and went to Koenange street next to those shoes That is illegal. That is illegal. But the show is can be there. That is a lot of stuff. According Tavari. to the penal What code. is wrong with <laughs> Tavari? That Tavari. is a lot of Muratina, bro. <laughs> All this. <laughs> I think because I'm going to have to share. This is <laughs> According to the penal code, yeah, yeah. it's not illegal yeah. for a woman to be in a public place soliciting themselves or importuning for immoral purposes but it's a crime for a man to do so I according think, to bro, the penal code we should do this we should, this. <laughs> we should <laughs> listen we should pull up with this crew smama to go kwana street smama to let how about how about we do a just kidding live on kwana street i'm not doing in the middle of the night no i'm not doing that would be nice Are you going to post with me? Cuz you want I won't be around. I yeah, I will. Thank you. I I'm will. Not, I'm not just a piece of now. meat. I'm a person <laughs> with feeling. <laughs> so you you love sex with the prostitute and want more than more than sex. 
it's not the same. If the sex is too good, you develop yeah, feelings. We are, you're going <laughs> over there. So, back to women. So, anyway, so that was section 153. 154 criminalizes women who knowingly living wholly or in part on the earnings of prostitution or who is proved to have for the, for the purpose of gain, exercise control, direction, or influence over the movements of a prostitute in such a manner to show that she's aiding or abetting. So, it criminalizes women pimping as well. So it criminalizes a woman living on the earnings of prostitution and a woman pimping You know what's other funny? Women. What I find funny about it is you can be a prostitute, just don't live off the money. Yeah, <laughs> which, which, how do like, you tell so. that someone is living on the earnings of something? Because yeah. if, if I have sex with someone and they give me 5,000 bob, yeah. if I keep that 5,000 bob under my mattress, and never use it. Yeah, even if you use it in the supermarket, who will know if it came from prostitution? Or but that's the, according to this, that's, that's living on the earnings. Yeah, what yeah. if if I just have sex with someone and they do my shopping for me? Have I lived off the earnings of prostitution? Yeah, of but now, exactly. That's why, now that you are a law student, I think you should go ahead and practice law and help. But bro, like, come on. The same thing you said about separating morality and some of these issues. Yeah. My thing in 2019 is, like, I was reading that thing from 50 Cent that the, the, I think I found it very interesting. He says that I am fat, but I consider myself slim. Wow. So I'm trans slender. Again. What I'm coming to is, Again. in Kenya, Again. like when I when not joke has been said 10,000 times. It does not matter how many times. It's never been said on the podcast before. Assume it's, it's still new. Ah, yeah. So, <laughs> funny, right? <laughs> Very funny. funny. So, thing is, when I was when we're doing that Huduma thing, you realize on gender there's only male and female here. Yeah. Most of the time, if you're online, if you are you're doing anything that comes from abroad, you realize when it comes to gender, you have twenty. You have so many options, you know. Mbaka squeezy because there's because every new day we wake up, there's a new way of gender identity. What they do is it's either male, female, or other. Ukisama other, there's an open box for you to fill. So you just say, Who are you? Because <laughs> nyingi. Yeah. yeah. So now, my point is we live in a society where I cannot tell you how to have sex, who to have it with, when to have it, when to have it, where to have it. All I'm saying is let's separate morality from some of these issues because why do we live in a society where we assume people don't get money off sex? I get, I get yeah. what you mean, and, uh, and I know because today we decided we are going to do this podcast until we are done. Yes. So, you are saying you don't no, give a until fuck. Until we finish. You don't give a fuck. But the, the truth yeah. of the matter is, this is a law, which means it affects everyone. If you yes. say, let's decriminalize uh, prostitution, it affects everyone in the country, which means if you're living within the Kenyan borders mm-hmm. and you're a Kenyan citizen, you are, you are under your blah, 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 you see a lot of yeah. legal jargon. So, what are the pros of, say, because you, you are pro decriminalizing let me use your words decriminalizing yeah. prostitution what, 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 are, what are the pros because in, in 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 australia in new zealand there are like conflicting uh, studies that show different results in mm-hmm. australia they say the minute they uh, they decriminalize prostitution divorce rates went down which wow. is a bit strange <laughs> yeah Wow. Divorce rates went there's down. A, there's some of this they country, went down. There's some of these countries you need to go live in, even for just two months. <laughs> you, you don't even buy Nini. Anyway, I but <laughs> I love, I love, another thing, another thing, another thing mm-hmm. I also noticed, and, 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 I, and, I, and I'm sorry for quoting comedians, because comedians are very funny, but they are funny because they say real And then they're allowed to say things yeah. you wouldn't ordinarily say. This guy said, in the US, prostitution is legal, but porn is not. So, basically he was saying that it's illegal to have sex for money mm-hmm. unless but somebody, unless you have your friend in the room filming it. Filming it, yes. yes. So, it's true. so, so I'm, I'm, I'm wondering. So, if for a country like ours, a Kenyan mm-hmm. country, which is conservative because there are so many Christians, yeah, and and and, and, and all those people who are, even, some, some of them yeah. are crazy to be honest. Uh, Conservativeness includes even Islam, but not just this country Christian. is mostly Christian. So yeah. I usually go after Christians because they're just an easy. Nando wana tusumbwa zaid. They're just an easy target. I can execute. Mm. You know, so what is the <laughs> what are the pros? What are the pros of decriminalizing this country okay. in our country? Let's, yeah, because it's already criminalized. So yeah. when we decriminalize, what are the pros? What, are the, what pros? are the pros? So you have to look at first how commercial sex workers are affected by the criminalization. One, the stigma. Mm-hmm. Sex workers, one, can't report whenever they are sexually abused because let's face it, they are. Can they can't report to like hospitals. They can never do anything about it. Though. 
they can't go to hospital to seek help because there's always that stigma. You know, the first thing you'll always be asked is, okay, will you go and you know, and then, and then another thing, it's illegal, which leads to violence. If you go to a police station and say, like, you are, say you're a commercial sex worker and your client refuses to wear a condom after you've told them to, and you go report to the police, police station. One, the, whatever you are doing was illegal, so they can't help you. Actually, they'll arrest you. Yeah, they'll arrest you because you're like going to tell on yourself. Fuck. For... It's like you... Well, they can't arrest you and then arrest the person for not doing it. But no, no, no because well. you see, the law can't help you to enforce an illegal contract. Whatever you are doing was illegal in the first place, so, let's so say, they can't go after the person you're reporting. Let me ask you a question, and, 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 and this is my son. Let's say we are two thieves, mm -hmm. and we're friends. And you go and you steal something and then one person refuses to share with you. And, then and you go and report that you <laughs> stole and my friend... No, you, you'll... Try. Yeah, the law can't help you enforce an illegal okay. contract. Let's, 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 let's the law it. won't go after let's, your friend. No, okay, let's make, it yeah. more, let's make it even more dramatic. Let's say me and Chaxi, we are thieves. We go steal somewhere, we go, because Anna, he shoot me, he kills me. Be specific. This common ways we will rob banks and be specific. Yes, yes. Okay, because so. banks are also robbing Kenyans, so it's, yeah. It's like, plus, the money is already insured. And the, the money is in the bank. And it's insured. Yeah. It's a lot of money. It's, it's a lot of money. Blah, blah, yeah, blah. It's saying. easy to see. There's, you can't rob like, banks. Like, money yeah. when they give us 5,000 and we can go yeah, to the bank and, and just, get. Yeah, millions, and, the, you know? and the risks are the same. Blah, Point blah, blah, being. He shoots me. You're saying he can't be, that he won't be charged for murder? Yes, because now... He won't no. be charged for murder? He will be, the only reason I'll be charged for murder is because all of us are also uh, owned by the state, the country, remember that? Yeah, if it's, if it's so if you commit murder, act, he yes. will. Yeah. But in a situation like that where you're saying like you've both stolen and like he's refusing to give, give you, you your cuts. share yeah. and you go and report, you will be arrested. I will be arrested, the law but he should also be arrested for, for stealing from me. <laughs> no, but you, you've not... For avoiding a contract. Wait, but not, I arrest no. <laughs> he will be arrested like for stealing but not for sharing it with you because it was an illegal contract. Yeah. The law can't help you enforce an, an illegal, illegal contract. contract. Yeah. Yes. You dig? So if Thank a woman you is raped, raped yes. you're saying if a prostitute is raped. Yeah. In the process of so her, in the process of bro, the executing her, bro, her contract. Yes. Like yeah. if she withdraws consent or yeah, something like, she like that. Consent. And then she's raped. Yes. You're saying she's not protected. She's not so protected. So honestly, I had not thought about it that in that light. But now that you mentioned it, I feel so sad because can you imagine how many ladies out there, whether they want to do it or they are just forced by circumstances to do it. Can you imagine how many of them are raped, abused physically, abused sexually? And they just can't do anything about it. Yeah, because they are like, prostitutes, whatever they're doing in the first place is illegal. So, should so they, they don't have any legal redress. So if, if they de if they decriminalize the whole thing of sex commercial work. They will have an avenue yeah, of but redress. Does it mean now they will still need to start working with contracts? So that before we, are, we engage, we sign a contract. Do you lipa? Because if it's verbal again, you can't prove in a court of law. Like, yeah, but it will be legitimate work, and mm. now the court will actually be able to now hear you. Listen, I'm, I'm, I'm willing to make contracts for the sex commercial workers when they decriminalize. It. And then I'll find you to defend them. In that, that might be, maybe that's why maybe we... we, we Interfering with design like placards so, for them. So let me ask you, mm -hmm. uh, why, if, if people are progressive, and this country is, I think, one of the most progressive countries in Africa, why is it not, why isn't there, like, conversations about it? Because of morality. Separate the and two. And because of issues being called non-issues in our society. But don't you think they're called non-issues just because of morality? Yeah, it's because of morality. It's like the LGBT. It's right now morality. there's the repeal 162, um, case going on. Mm -hmm. I think the case will be ruled on May 24th if I'm not wrong. Give me a prediction. What do you think? You remember we talked about this case, the LGBT. The LGBT just case. pushed now to when? May 24th. It should be May 24th. Give me a prediction. What do you think is it going to go? I think the court will repeal. No. <laughs> I can tell you. You the, don't think so? I can tell you the answer is so obvious. Let yeah. me, I'll tell you why. You if know the president... Are, are far better than if you. The you know the Ugandans are crazier. The <laughs> Ugandans cannot even have that case in court. So you know we are guy, better because we guy, have it in this court. This guy brought a trans... Uh, uh, okay, I don't know what she was. Eh, what Nile, was. It, 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 tell, me just, why, why, tell me why... Why are you gay? Are you gay? Why? <laughs> <laughs> so my thing is, I'll tell you why. I'll tell you why for, for sure I know they will not repeal it. It's mm -hmm. because if the president... So many times, even in international media, I'll say international media because when you talk of international media, you talk of more pressure mm -hmm. from the same same people who literally run this government. Mm -hmm. uh, so when he's on all those platforms and saying it's an, an issue, 
trust me you there's no way a judge somewhere but then there's no, no way a, a judge somewhere will but will then now that's the good thing of separation of powers because mm. the president the executive can't influence the judiciary the independent but in this country clearly you can see the influence well i mean i like, have faith in the theory of separation of powers i have so. it but not in the current judiciary so i what, feel like the judiciary now is very so let me let me let me let me let me ask a bit like me i'm really interested in the details like the people who are mm. are there people who are against decriminalization yes of commercial sex give me those bodies you said two associations i guess two associations that are that uh, are deal against. fight for the rights that yeah. fight for the rights yeah. of commercial sex workers yeah. there is Keswa Keswa which is Kenya the sex. Kenya Sex Workers Alliance which mm-hmm. was formed i think in 2010 in 2010 there was a conference in Johannesburg for sex workers commercial sex yeah in, in Johannesburg in South Africa there no. was a conference okay. for African oh, commercial Africa. sex workers and from that conference Keswa was formed okay. and then i think Kenya was the first country that formed such a body and then now other countries followed suit okay. and then there's the bar hostesses uh, empowerment and support program and then there's FIDA and yeah FIDA is the one that fights for women rights yeah, yeah women rights so, yeah but not specifically n- yeah yeah it's yeah. yeah. <laughs> 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 an appropriate acronym <laughs> 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 Yeah. Maui means stone. Anyway, so Mumu, yeah. uh, me, I'm just gonna wrap it up by asking you mm-hmm. that apart from, um, so now if we really were interested, mm-hmm. you know, we have so many people who are interested in doing things, but very few people actually do. Mm-hmm. So if we were interested now mm-hmm. to help push for the decriminalization, you know some episode? Yes. So, what I can say is that I'm So, what could be our immediate next steps to help push this agenda. Like Lit- size. Yeah. If we want to do something about it, what do we do? Where would we start from? Uh, litigation. Litigation. I think making it taking it to the courtrooms and but for that to happen there needs to be first sufficient public interest mm. and people need to be behind it and actually support it so okay. that by the time it's going to court it's not thrown out. Yeah. Like they literally we make so much noise that the court has to yeah. at least listen. Yeah, but okay. litigation because until it's it's the court says so. I mean in Kenya like the law is you know so but which is another issue because in Kenya the laws that deal with commercial sex work all contradict each other. Because there's a penal code of 1948. There is the 2010. Why are we using something for 1948? Because it's the law, the penal code is the law that lists all criminal yeah, acts can, in Kenya. Yeah, but can can they at least update? Can we can we can they can in two in 2003 yeah. these sections were updated, so but in the that? sense that they were moved from misdemeanors to felonies, meaning they were made even more serious crimes in 2003. Can you imagine? Like from 1948. <laughs> some of the things that were misdemeanors this misdemeanors misdemeanors yes so say this is mekwa they are now felonies <laughs> yes according to the criminal <laughs> amendment <laughs> act <laughs> misdemeanors or whatever yeah so una <laughs> demand like literally we are making 10 steps backwards you know what i mean but, but I, i feel like i well, I, know, i know we're we supposed this to this misdemeanor i know we're supposed to finish the podcast and everything but i feel like the only reason that the only reason that prostitution is still in a criminal offense is because rich people are not doing it uh, hmm? a, not not enough rich people have been arrested for actually engaging in in this criminal activity i'm sure because i I'm read sure it from your report like mm. the, one of the examples you chose was mm-hmm. uh, when people started doing the debate for uh, decriminalizing homosexuality and mm-hmm. blah 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 there's a bunch of a bunch of wealthy people are arrested and mm-hmm. people are like yo we need to keep our private private things private so i think in this country as as a long as many things are it's usually just a class problem yeah like yeah. uh the, the the you know the more the, the richer class with you know with information with with power money and mm-hmm. blah 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 mm-hmm. they're not really interested in because they're not affected they don't really give a shit yeah and there's a report that actually called the criminalization of i mean criminalization of sex work in kenya the criminalization of feminized poverty because it's something that only affects poor people yeah. if you're found doing it on the streets in a dark alley somewhere you'll be arrested because you're poor yes but if you're doing it at a big hotel and somewhere i mean 
mm. you know you won't be arrested mm. so anyway in kenya it's just a crime to be poor so this is the penal code of 1948 this is the 2010 constitution which is one of the most progressive constitutions in africa because we have one of the largest bill of rights in africa i think after south africa which gives us like the right to non-discrimination on any ground the right to privacy the right to the highest attainable standard of health mm-hmm. the right to I like how fair all labor the relations you are in, in canada just jokes you know like, <laughs> they're not jokes like quality health care they're not jokes bro. but they are in the constitution That's what I'm, you, please don't misquote me i'm saying i like how most of the things you mentioned in kenya literally like in practical sense they're jokes you can, like quality health no, that not, is a joke in kenya because it's not, it's not applicable you see, where you forget is mm. it's it all boils down to it's a class problem. If you can afford it, you can get it. You can get it. The re- actually, most of the well, things is that's what we are talking about two different things. It's we, never, no, we're not when you say when you talk things. about quality healthcare, it's not about who can afford it. When you say quality healthcare to everyone, it means everyone to the one who cannot afford. You start with the one who cannot exactly. afford. Exactly. That's what I'm saying. So if it's not in the country, it's yeah. not that we don't have the laws to, to provide for that. Our problems are usually class problems. I think it's implementation, not class. Because of the class. Because problem. the constitution <laughs> says one thing. It's like the it's two thirds. Is of it one class third or two thirds? Third. It's thirds. there in the constitution, but yeah. it's but not But implementing it is difficult. So, uh, yeah, how can because you say? Because of the yeah. class problem. It's not class. Like even the gender bill is class. It's not class. Gender bill. It's isn't. just about patriarchy. It's not class for the mm. for the gender bill. Like you can't categorize everything into one. It's never class. I'm so gonna leave it. I'm gonna stop. Because exactly. we are going to argue until tomorrow. So anyway, there are those rights that the constitution gives that are obviously the penal code contravenes all those rights because now criminalizing sex work um, hinders the enjoyment of those human rights. Then we have bylaws. For example, in Nairobi, the Nairobi bylaw says that if it's a crime to loiter in... Loiter a... Street. <laughs> 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 and and because <laughs> remind the penal code it's not a crime for women to solicit they're often arrested on the grounds of loitering there was a case um it was lucy nyambura versus um anyway it was a case lucy nyambura and i think two others it's these women two women who had been arrested for um they were car- they were walking around and they had condoms in their possession <laughs> And they were arrested because what? the police suspected that prostitution was about to be committed. They didn't arrest them because they were engaging Can in prostitution. Can you imagine if they arrested all the shops for selling condoms? Because they're imagining, they're yeah, encouraging prostitution. Yeah. You're talking about shops. You see the small epic guys who sell sweets? They sell sweets and oh, condoms. Oh, street guys. Yeah, they sell sweets and condoms. Co- like at night. at night. At night. At night, every street guy who sells sweets, sweets and they sell condoms. condoms. They have condoms. They have condoms. condoms. Mm-hmm. You didn't know. You wouldn't know. know. So if you need Again, a condom, as I said, urgently at night you go to the streets. I, as I said, if the shops are closed. <laughs> if you know, you know. Uh, yeah. Anyway, Mumbi, what you are know? you listening to right now? Um, that right. one song that is making you go crazy about life. I'm actually not listening to music a lot right now because I just started watching a series that's taking up all my Don't time. Don't tell me it's Game of Thrones. No, no, no. It's okay. called The Crown. The it's Crown. about like Queen Elizabeth and how she became queen and just her that's whole. Beautiful. It's that was, so nice. Wasn't that like from 2016? Yeah, yeah. yeah. I just started watching it now. It's 2019. Me, the only yeah. crown that joined the crown paints. Wow. wow. Which reminds <laughs> me, I had a joke. All yes. right. For you guys. Right. Mm-hmm. Okay. So why did the lion mm. eat his fellow lions? Eat his fellow lions? Yes. By yeah. eat, you he mean like cannibal? Ali Kula. Like why did he eat? Because he was a gay lion. He was a cannibal lion? He was a gay lion. Eat fellow lions, not lionesses. We understood what you said <laughs> the first time. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, final answers. Why did the lion eat his fellow lions? He was hungry. Because he was swallowing his pride. <laughs> that is fine. That is fine. <laughs> thank you guys. Thank you. Thank you. That is fine. Thank you. Thank you. Thank shout out to <laughs> shout out to Kenyan shilling. Yeah, that is fine. Like, shout out to Lisa. Fire, you know, that is straight fine. <laughs> So, wait, wait, what are you listening to? I'm listening to Zero Washaki. Look in the chain, Kivute, Yadi. 
Hadi Kobre yo so i'm i'm, I'm listening to zimenishika 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 yo i'm listening to this new jam by zero it's mad zero is a rapper mad he's mad. i don't know what he is he's just mad he's talking about bangi make sure you legalize it fuck the system yeah legalize it mm. i yes. will advertise it yeah yeah <laughs> <laughs> i'm going to scale legalize like changa mkamba so i'm listening to ska ska cardinal he has a new song called kovu mm and kuna kila mtu real shit no and it's pretty real shit like there's a line he says uh, celebrities of kenya ni msiba wameshindwa kupea vera na huda mimba kama huda na vera tatu mimba tufanye nini then there's a <laughs> ah you okay i'll explain later cuz uh, then there's a line he says um one he needs the media to free him up basically play their tracks then number two then he goes and says how right now people are just uh, taking his talent for granted but if he dies tomorrow his views will increase everyone will post and say how he was a nice dude so kovu scam cardinal but this guy is not a nice dude i know scam is a nice dude he's not a nice dude doesn't matter your opinion does not count at this time Okay tell me why is he he's bad as he's not a nice dude that okay, guy Okay yeah when <laughs> bad as for me Wait yeah. Mumbi is on Wikipedia I am um, Fuck Oh I've been chilling for as Mumbi said I Mumbi some Mumbi Masharia Yo Check Mumbi tonga your story after me na going to Wikipedia Only only do I do my research Yo Can I put Yeah This is fun but it says you're born in 2016 I know you're young but Really? She was born I I she was born in 19 I'm I I oh. saw it. Born 1997. You fucking think. Yeah. You were a kid. It like, says that. Like she's not even that's been talking so about sex. Are you, <laughs> are you talking about? It's all that you should have that information. Call, Which what, what is your best poem? Cuz I know my best poem is the one is that one. Hmm? I don't know. Mumbi, do you have a small piece like a 1 minute piece? Yeah. I'm not a good woman. So I've never asked for a good man. But me and God we have a plan see he sends me men that will tell me all these lies and leave through the window with everything that's mine and in return I summarize the memory in 32 lines I get it He doesn't send me these men because they're right because he knows it's the only way he could get me to write So it's no wonder I'm stuck here with a guy like you who can turn me into another girl he's been through baby please tell me it's not true But now you got me praying to God that I walk away from this before you that way you can't play me But see no one's mastered this craft like I have But you managed to talk me out of my panties so you must be a better poet than I am. So he's the type of guy that will build you up and then break you but I'm a big girl that, so I can take you nigga you lucky I don't have the nerve to say I hate you. But tell the truth it's just like my father ain't you. All right. All right. All right. Okay, ni melewa. Okay, ni melewa ni nikianza a construction company ni kwa sawa. Mbitala za social media handles. So social media Instagram at Kenyan Shilling, Twitter at Mumbi Said, like Mumbi alisema, Mumbi Said. Uh Facebook Mumbi spoken word. Email bookmumbi at gmail.com. I like that. Mpesa 0720 I am a rush official everywhere remember it's hashtag #morasta is coming uh, yeah yeah one day one day yeah that is coming remember always subscribe give us a thumbs up Hi. All right, we are just getting podcast online I go by that guy Jack so across the same handle sing recording hey pause what the f- Okay. Who said that? Who said that? Zoom in. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Listen up.